We have an excellent team here. Uh, we actually have a combination of reserve and active forces from Maxwell Air Force Base and Little Rock Air Force Base. Uh, it's been a seamless transition and it's been uh, a great team to work with. Uh, we immediately started day one like we've been working together for many years. Uh, they're highly motivated, very eager, and uh, perhaps one of the best deployment teams I've ever had. Their dedication, their motivation to get the job done is uh, very rewarding, especially as a fire chief. They train every day, they work hard every day, and it's that type of dedication through our airmen and excellence in all we do that really makes this job so rewarding. There's going to be times where we are reactive when things do happen, things we do not anticipate, but that's why we train. And we train to prepare for any type of contingency, any type of disaster that could potentially occur. Uh, not only with just structural fires, but emergency medical calls, hazardous materials incidents, and technical rescue calls. Uh, and of course, our main mission is the aircraft, and that's aircraft rescue firefighting. So that's why we go out to the flight line, we train on our mission assigned aircraft, we train on our host nation aircraft and our coalition aircraft. Uh, we make it a point to be prepared for any type of emergency that's happened. So our goal is to uh, develop uh, tactics, techniques and procedures uh, for responding to uh, aircraft emergencies with them and training uh, on their aircraft and being able to further bolster their capabilities and our capabilities as well in a uh, environment where that has not happened before. But one of the more rewarding aspects is actually being able to do joint training and joint exercises together, uh, training on our host nation aircraft and providing opportunities to where we respond together and we actually uh, develop plans and contingencies uh, for responding to uh, mishaps should they occur on their airfield. So that's going to be one of the more rewarding aspects at, uh, when we look at the end of this deployment is that we had this wonderful opportunity to train and learn from them and they're able to train and learn from us.